Okay, so now that we have mastered our audio, uh, we've taken our music track, we have mixed it uh, with our uh, sound track, our, our sound effects uh, from the original video, our background noises, our background sounds, and the dialogue or whatever might be there. We've mastered that together. We're going to bring that final track that's been mastered and normalized into uh, our original project. And what I did here is I have a meta strip and inside of that is the original sound. So this is just our original project with our uh, sound effects in there. I put that together in a meta strip and then I disabled it so that we don't hear those original sounds anymore. And now we just hear the final output and then I place that on top of the rest of the track. So now, when we go back here and hit play, we should be able to really hear what our final project is going to uh, be like. So everything's in there, the music and the sound effects properly mixed the way we wanted it to be. Uh, a couple notes on using the sequencer here, uh, the video sequence editor. Uh, when you are using the video sequence editor in either two, uh, 2.79 or 2.8, uh, and these functions are in a slightly different place in either, in 7.9, you go to playback and you want to select AV sync and frame dropping. What that does is it makes sure that the frames are being dropped in spite of any limitations in the hardware. So uh, if it can't keep up with the uh, frame rate that the video is supposed to be at, it will drop frames so that the video will sync properly with the audio. Uh, you want to make sure that you have that set so that as you're doing this, things are lining up properly from what you hear to what you see uh, in, the, in the picture. So yeah, we put it all together and then we do one more render. Uh, it's good to go back to the original file because because we really want to render all this stuff again for the first time. Each time that you render with compressed settings, uh, you will uh, slightly degrade the picture a little bit. So on settings, very quickly, for my settings, again, I have low HD. So this is 1280p, uh, 720p HD. So 1280 by 720 uh, with the bars, anamorphic bars, it's actually looks like an anamorphic widescreen, but it's actually 1280 by 720. Uh, 24 frames for my project. Uh, and then down here for the uh, uh, file settings, I have it set to uh, FFmpeg video, and I use MPEG4, MP4, uh, H.264 codec. And I use this perceptually lossless. Again, this is for internet video for YouTube, so it doesn't need to be lossless. It doesn't need to be, you know, the top of the line. I just go with their perception, you know, per perceptually lossless algorithm. It just is really, really clean, uh, but it's not all the way there. So I do that. And then for the audio, I set it to AAC, and the bitrate is 128. Again, this is for video on the internet. Um, you know, there's a whole conversation out there about uh, about quality settings for audio and video. At the end of the day, you're going to be stuck with uh, whatever pixel range you have in the viewing environment, whatever the computer or television is that's as high as your video needs to be. Uh, or as, as, as detailed as it needs to be. Uh, the same is for, for audio as well. In the end, everything, everything gets put out into commercial media. It's, it's 16 bits. So, uh, you don't really need to export anything higher than that. You might as well just keep it at the normal export range because, uh, when you upload or when you put it to disk or something like that, it's going to be converted anyway down to the minimum. So, um, that's another reason why 16 bit uh, audio files for sound samples are perfectly adequate. Uh, they can be absolutely realistic and give you the full depth and range uh, because that's where it's going to be mixed down to anyway. Now there's something to be said for using high bit rate uh, audio and then mixing down from there. Um, it, you know, it gives you a lot more to play with and less degrading as you go through the, the pipeline, through the chain. Um, but we're not doing a lot to our media. We're, we're really only exporting uh, maybe twice in, in a line. So we're, we're pretty good to just keep everything at 16 bit, you know, 128 uh, uh, bit rate here is perfectly fine. So those are my export settings for videos that I use, you know, 1280, 720p, uh, 128 bit rate, MP4, uh, AAC. So anyway, uh, that's, that's the project and that's, that's how I did it. And uh, hopefully I'll be doing a few more of these. I've already done a few. And as I do these uh, little projects, we'll look at what goes into particularly the music side of it. Different neat 
tricks that we can use to uh, compose music to picture uh, and then put all of that together. So good luck with this and I wish you happy mixing.